Today, the U.S. Capitol reopens to tourists for the first time since the pandemic began in 2020, and just three days before the second anniversary of the deadly January 6th attack. Now the police chief, who defended Congress that day, is speaking out. Stephen Sun's new book, Courage Under Fire, which is out today, is his inside story of the Capitol siege. And as Sun told Robert Costa, he is concerned about the possibility of another attack. The brutality I saw was you know, just the worst thing I've ever seen in my life as far as attacks on police. Former U.S. Capitol Police Chief Stephen Sund says the officers outnumbered 58 to 1 were also battling for help. I was making every call I could and people were coming. They're sending the cavalry. And that is what ultimately turned the tide. But as rioters barreled in and breached the Senate chamber, Sund alleges he lost critical minutes with bureaucratic delays to get backup. I then have to get on a call with the military at 2.34 p.m. and start begging and pleading for National Guard assistance. Sund says he asked for more National Guard support days earlier, only to be stymied by congressionally appointed law enforcement officials. Adding to the problem, he says, was an alarming lack of coordination with other government agencies leading up to the attack. I believe January 6th was treated differently than other major events in Washington, D.C. We've done Pope's visits, we've done IMFs, and there's certain things that usually take place with briefings, intelligence bulletins, joint intelligence bre uh, bulletins that didn't happen this time. And Why not? Had, you know, I sit back and I wonder whether they, they just missed him. Was there a bias or was it watered down purposely? There's a lot of people within the president's cabinet that was concerned he may try and invoke the Insurrection Act. And if he had the, enough intelligence saying that, you know, Armageddon was coming, uh, it would give him the, the um, ammunition he needs to invoke that, that act. The January 6 House Select Committee said it found no evidence that the delay in sending the National Guard was intentional. The inspector general who investigated the actions of Capitol Police officials surrounding January 6 cited multiple deficiencies, including failure to disseminate intelligence and prepare a comprehensive plan. This internal intelligence bulletin from Sun's own department, just three days before the attack, warned armed protesters could come to Washington, but called detailed information limited. As the chief of the United States Capitol Police, I have no problem with the buck stopping with me. I'll take my lumps wherever I deserve them. There's things I could have and should have done better. I am calling for the resignation of the Capitol, the chief of the Capitol Police, Mr. Sund. Forced out the day after the attack, Sund says he's not sure the problem is fixed. January 2025, should the United States be concerned? I am very concerned that this could happen again. But Sun says stopping that may take more than better barriers and planning. The society as a whole, I think we are so divided. I think politicians on both sides need to start thinking about how words matter and start finding a way to heal this place. In a statement ahead of Friday's anniversary, the Capitol Police has highlighted changes they have made since the attack. That includes hiring a new intelligence director and legislation that grants more authority to the Capitol Police chief to declare an emergency or call in the National Guard. Adriana. Important changes. Bob, thank you so much.